All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review Panda Internet Security 2015. Now, I'm going to start to do reviews a little bit differently now. Uh, I used to study the program first and see where everything was before I even did the review, but now you know as much as I do. We're going to look at it as as uh, as newbies. We're going to go ahead and look at it. I'm looking at it for the very first time. Now, this is what it looks like here once you download it. I do have the free trial right now. And I will post a link on the description of the video for the free trial. It lets you try it out for, let's say here, let's see here, uh, 31 days. And let's go ahead and see what PC Mag had to say about it. The pros for it, it says that it has excellent scores and hands-on antivirus tests and independent lab tests. So they tested it out with their labs. Speedy install, which it was pretty fast to install. It installed pretty fast and um, has use useful bonus features, which we'll look at here in a bit blocks and authorized access to your data files that's good all right let, let's see what cons they found on it firewall failed web-based tests that's not good can be dis can be disabled by malware oh crap rudimentary parental control so it looks like it has parental control but they didn't like it that much so the bottom line best part of panda internet security 2015 the antivirus protection is the antivirus protection that the company offers for free other suit features like firewall parental control don't come up to the same standard all right that's what PC magazine had to say about it let's go ahead and take a look at the software itself here we have it uh, they make it look pretty nice protected Wow green pastures make you make you feel safe right <laughs> all right so we got that looks like it already scanned some files did not find any threats yet let's go ahead and take a look at the scan function here so just like any other antivirus program, they have a full scan, critical area scan, and a custom scan. Let's see what the critical area scan does. All right, scanning now critical areas, which does not tell you. Let's click on view full reports. It says it's been vaccinated. And there it goes scanning. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because this could take hours. It does not tell you what it's scanning, though says this does a critical scan but oh here it is scans the memory current running processes cookies active viruses on the PC okay let's take let's test out the full scan oh cool it has a feature shut down computer upon completion so that's good because this might take hours so you might want to check that box and it'll turn it off for you that's a good feature and it's just reminding us that we gotta renew this in 31 days all right firewall enabled let's take a look at the firewall features uh, home. That's correct. I'm at home. That's cool. You could choose workplace or public place. Public place. I imagine once you pick public place, your computer is a lot more s secure because in public places, uh, you're prone. You know, you're 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 uh, exposed to more hackers. View detailed report. This just tells us what what's been happening. All right. So the firewall seems to. I like that feature. It has that public access feature so that's good so we can actually uh, access the processor the processes that are happening in your computer here oh shoot it tells you how many of them are accessing the internet that's pretty helpful I like that there's 54 processes right now on my computer here's uh, some of them cool let's go back data shield what is this it says it's off right now Monitor the programs that try to access your personal data. Protect it against threats. Huh. How do we turn it on? Oh, here it is. No suspicious attempts to access protected data has been detected. So here you turn it off and on. Let's keep that on. I don't know why they have it off. Wi-Fi monitor. So it has a Wi-Fi monitor too. Cool. Which Wi-Fi networks you are connected to? You know, this could be helpful trying to find out if your neighbors are stealing your internet. All right, connected to, no devices found. What are you talking about? My little sister right now is using the, iP the iPad on Wi-Fi. Okay. Looks like I didn't find it. That didn't work out so well. Huh. If you try this program, let me know if it works for you, the Wi-Fi network. All right, let's go back. Parental control. Let's see why PC Magazine didn't like this parental control. All right. Most visited, so it looks like it gives you a report. Most visited websites, websites denied, visit categories. Let's turn it on, let's see what it does. All right, 
I guess you gotta wait a while for it to populate. But how do you change what they do? Let's click on settings and see if we can find something. Deny access to a file in categories. Cool. So here you check a box to what you want to deny access to on that user. All right. The user I'm logged into is owner. But if you make other users on your computer, you'll see other users here, I imagine. You should be able to. Uh, is alphabetical order, I hope. Let's look for adult. Where is adult or pornography, I guess, would be it. Where's the keys? Sex education? You want you want that? You want your child to have that, right? At least. <laughs> uh, where there's violence, you can check that. Real estate. I would want my kid to get do some real estate investing, just like me. Uh, illegal drugs, maybe that. Uh, criminal activity. What the heck? Dating and personals. There's not many on here, is there? I don't see anything that has to do with. Uh, oh, there. Wait. What the heck's pornography on here? Child abuse images. That that that's a big no-no. You'll check that one. But okay, now I see why they don't like it. There's not many uh, categories here. Well, there's a lot of categories, but they don't really make sense much. All right, let's go back. So you can look at the reports for day, week, and month here. All right, multi-device, what does this do? If you use Android, Mac, operating system devices, you have two complete solutions that will protect your viruses. Oh, cool, so it has antivirus for your devices too? I think that's a different product. Yeah, that's another product. They're gonna sell it to you. Yeah, they're gonna make you upgrade to the high or the maximum protection to do that. All right. And support, so they have support. Let's go ahead and test it out. You can go to the forum, and you can contact technical support. Let's see if they have a number you can contact, or is it just email? Oh, it's just email. Crap. I like it when they have a phone number you can contact. They have a forum also. And you get to see your product key here, that's right. You can renew it. Let's see how much this uh, program costs. So it goes for thirty-seven forty-nine. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's 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 an it's an all right program. Uh, usually, internet security programs is it's an all-in-one program, right? It's got firewall, antivirus. Uh, it's got it all. I mean, it does have it here. Data Shield Process Monitor. It's got all of it here. But you know what's something that I oh, there's more of it. There's more. Okay, okay. I'm not done yet. There's more. <laughs> So make sure you click on these tabs here so you can look at more stuff. All right, application control. I was just about to say tune up, but they do have one. All right, application control to safeguard your PC against programs. Just turn that on. USB vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccine. Okay, so you can vac vac vaccinate a computer using your USB, which is the new technology they're using. A lot of antivirus programs are jumping on that. Oh, it's got backup. Cool. You got to make an account with them, and you got backup. That's good. You got an online backup with them. Virtual keyboard. In case you don't want to use your keyboard, because there's viruses out there that are called keyloggers that actually get your keys. Uh, whatever you type in, hackers can know what you're typing in. Cool. And here's the virtual keyboard. So you can use this instead of your actual keyboard, and that'll protect you against those keyloggers. Rescue kit. Uh, cool. By using this rescue kit, if your computer ever gets a really bad virus that even Panda can, can't handle and your computer just dies, you can use this uh, this rescue kit to bring it back using a USB drive, which is awesome. So that's good. That's good. Safe browsing is on. So that's cool. It protects you when you're browsing. I wonder how good it works, though. PC tune-up. This is something I was w wondering if they had, and looks like they do. Uh, you actually had to buy the upgrade to use the PC tune-up. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'm, I'm going to give this program a, a below average review because of that. Usually every internet security program because of the free PC tune-up. I don't know if you guys have seen my past uh, reviews and tutorials on antivirus programs, but they have the PC tune-up. This one doesn't. You have to upgrade. 
You have to buy it. Just for laughs, let's see how much it costs. Oh, I think I know what's going on. It's just, we're since we're using the trial, it's not letting us use the PC tune-up. So if you're using the trial, you won't be able to use the PC tune-up. You gotta buy actually buy it to use the PC tune-up. So we won't be able to see how that works. If you guys actually buy this program and you, and you use the PC tune-up, let us know how it works for you. Go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video and let us know how good this PC tune-up works. All right. It looks like that's about it. There's Panda Internet Security for you. Like I said, it's all right. Um, it has PC tune-up, which I like it, but you actually have to, you can use it during the trial version. PC Magazine did not like its firewall. It said it actually failed, so I wouldn't trust this as a firewall, but it says it's excellent as an antivirus program. So if you're buying it for antivirus, that's good, but I don't, if all you're looking for is, is antivirus, don't get the internet security, get Panda antivirus, all right? Internet security is supposed to do everything. All right, that's pretty much it. That's Panda Internet Security 2015. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new videos on new software coming out. For example, this 2015 that came up, I had to make a video on it. Every year, I make new reviews for that year of that software, okay? All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.